right. Ready? Let's go, folks. Let's go. This is actually a new session. I had things to do after last video. We ended up with only two deaths that session. Exactly the maximum cap for everything. Wink, wink. Yeah. The snipers heard your helicopter and took off. You guys saved my life. I'm glad you're all right. Why is Majestic 12 attacking? You with the NSF? We have a common enemy, if that's what you mean. MJ-12 is short a UC. They lost the one in Hong Kong, and now something has happened at the Pasadena Ocean Lab. Are the Vandenberg Labs safe? The base is locked down until we can destroy the enemy bots. Unfortunately, MJ-12 disabled our own bot defense system, and no one has been able to activate the backup power. I could give it a shot. Where are the controls? There are two separate units at the west end of the base. It won't be easy. MJ-12 has hacked the security grid and taken control of nearly all of our defenses. Turrets, cameras, alarms, and they have snipers everywhere. Easier than a straight fight with military bots. I suppose you're right. I can give you a map. One of the units is in the main complex. The other one is in an exposed location. The activation code is 5868. Okay, we're at Vandenberg Air Force Base now. This is uh, the home of the Renegades from Area 51. To start off with, if you uh, did not trigger an event which had Jock discover the bomb on the helicopter, he, the helicopter, would explode. Also, as is the case with every other fucking Deus Ex map, there's several ways of completing the thing. Let's take a look at the map we have. Front gate, security bay, communications, this is the front. And we're currently on the roof, and back there is a terminal. And that's the second terminal. So, our primary objective right now is to destroy the two mi MJ-12 military bots and the security bots. Those are the big daddies and the more mobile walkers. The base will remain under lockdown until they're destroyed. So you have to destroy those, and uh, to help you with that, you can do the secondary goal. Which allows you to activate two backup power generators, one outside the base, at, well, outside the facility, and one inside. And uh, that'll give you some assistance. It'll weaken them, but you really have to finish them off yourself. Now, if you don't have the ordnance, there are several laws scattered around the map. I, however, do have ordnance. That being said, I'm feeling particularly spunky, so I suppose I'll go through the process of clearing this myself. You've got a door back there. You've got some windows you can break over there. That's the front of the facility, and that's one of the big daddies right there. Over here, however, is where we'll be wanting to go, because one of the generators is right down there. Which means we'll first introduce ourselves to this gentleman right here, who's just, you know, minded his own fucking business. Two days from retirement, and then all of a sudden, damn. Now that got his friend down there a little excited. He heard the death scream. He's like, oh god, JC Denton's after me. He's gonna ruin everything I've ever known and loved throughout my entire life. Folgers coffee, Funyuns, the works. I'm not, I'm not patient enough to get a good sniper shot, so uh, we'll just turn him to little Gibbons. How about that? Now? Hop over here. I'm feeling a little spunky today. Actually, uh, caused a little bit of damage there to my legs by the looks of things. From that fall. Yeah, I didn't land exactly on the pipe. And the code is 5868. Not a big deal. That's one switch. Now find the other. Will do. Because I already know where it is. Down here, we have a scientist who has a biocell. And up here, we have a ventilation shaft, which we will now quickly scurry through to get us to another ventilation shaft, which I will attempt to. There we go. And from here, we're going to make a beeline upstairs. Slow down. Now, there's two gentlemen here who like to hang out and play Nintendo. However, I'm not much into Nintendo. Now, you'll notice, amusingly enough, this second guy didn't even notice that his friend went down. He, he must have zoned out, you know. 
Maybe he's two days from retirement as well. You know how it goes. I mean, I'm sure some of you have been, like, in those final days before, like, the end of school, just sitting at the edge of the, the chair, waiting patiently on a Friday or some shit. Maybe there's also a scientist down here. We'll talk to her. A lot of troops up this way? I don't know. They had me locked up until a minute ago. My assistant's still being held somewhere. I don't think I've come across him. If you want to look for troops, you should log into the security network. The username is command, and the password is zebra42. Not a bad idea. Yes, Zebra42 command. Her assistant's right in there, and now you can go back to monitoring who goes in and out of a nightclub. One computer terminal's in there, but that floor is a little... wet and electrified. Not exactly of particular interest, so... How many tools does it take? Oh, fuck it. I don't care. Just gonna have to be patient, because I didn't deactivate the camera or turrets. Really, it's a six in one hand, half a dozen of the other situation. But we don't have to worry about getting any Steam achievements, so we're good to go. Sit back, have a drink, watch the wind blow. MJ-12 Commando sighing. That's one of the two stationed at the front of the building. Like dicks. Okay. Now we're gonna bolt across this lobby before the cameras get us. Good. Command Zebra 42. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Fantastic. Now, over there, we've got a man in black. Two MJ-12 troops just hanging out, talking about the football game. In this instance, we'll say I mean uh, international football instead of American football. So we'll just push that conveniently located uh, card closer to them. <laughs> I feel the same way, man. Uh, we'll be a little sneaky. That is not going to be enough to kill the man in black. But the explosion's probably going to be enough to trigger those commandos. And because enemies in this game have limited ESP... Well... We'll see. The music didn't actually kick up. I consider. There we go, it kicked up there. Man in black died there. None of the commandos moved. I'm okay with that. Yep, and those two guys most certainly died. Fantastic. There's some individuals up there. We're going to introduce ourselves to them. Really the only way uh, JC knows how to. And that's with excessive violence. It's pretty fine. There's a ventilation shaft right there. I guess I'll pretend like I'm a sniper, even though I'm a not. I'm not. Also, there he is. Goodbye. I thought there was another guy who patrolled along this hallway. I think there's two guys at the end. They're probably sitting down on couches, enjoying themselves a nice break. Yeah, we'll be a little bit fancy here. Well, uh, switch to these. Well, on some grenades. They got a little arc to them, and I'm not very good at using them because I haven't used them that often, but gotta use these different ammo types. Okay, there was an alarm that's activated. People probably heard that. It upset the missus over there a little bit. I think we're fine. Down here, there's another generator. Bot security system has come online. All bots will have power. 
but you have to open the bay doors manually. Alternate route. I also found nothing. So that's cool, right? Oh, that problem's all taken care of. We'll be through that door later. And we'll probably talk to her later, too. Well, we might as well go out, go, go out the front door. That's too, that's too poor of an angle for me. Let's go ahead and try to ensure that I don't die. On this one. Hmm. I already forgot which of the Dan Vince I came out of. Got a little confused there. You ever get lost before in a game that you knew fairly well? I've gotten lost before in System Shock too, and I know that one fairly well. Certainly better than Deus Ex. Deuce X. Alright. <laughs> so the bots. Now, hello. You know, while we're at it, I have 96 rounds of these. Fantastic. <laughs> That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Could have gone better. The shitty accuracy does not help. What are my skills at? Right advanced. There's no way in hell I could get that up anymore. You know what we can get up more? Nah, I'll probably save them for rifles just to make my life easier. Go ahead and use that to free up a skill spot, uh, slot. I'm going to activate this too. Look, I'm trying to save skill points here. Uh, rockets, you're not helping. Thank you. Enemy bot destroyed. Three left. Cool. Figured I might as well pick that one off because the fuck, I have to anyway, right? I didn't die! We call that a victory where I come from. <laughs> the commandos are still alive, too. <laughs> There's another guy over here, too. We might as well go introduce ourselves to him as well. There he is. Is that as far down as you go? It is not. Do, do, do. There's like med kit possibilities over here. I guess I'll get you. Although I already filled up my inventory with something shitty. Well, not necessarily shitty. I just don't want to use it. Oh, I do kind of. Uh, I guess I do kind of. Fuck. Yeah. I want to show off the cool thing that I want to do later. I'd probably find another crossbow, but I might as well take that one. I guess. So here we go. We're going to try to get in front of that security thing. And let loose the wrath of Khan. No exaggeration involved here at all. Damn it, that bot. He's being a D-hole now. He is, he's being a fucking D-hole. Why you gotta get in my way? Just trying to activate cool things. 
so that I don't have to do all the work. Not that I mind, because I like explosives, but still, come on. Yes! I didn't think they actually went... I don't remember them going back this far. Can you turn around now, please? No, he's fully committed. Right then. Why can't I have nice things? I'm two steps away from no longer giving a fuck here. Figurative steps, of course. Fuck this shit. Oh, tired of playing. Hi. Don't kill me. Thank you. Real bro. Actually, the slowest section for me. Isn't that aggravating? Well. I would aggra activate some big daddies of my own. Save me some work. They probably won't take down one. Knowing my luck. But a man can dream. There's some uh, attention that's being attracted from the, the front gate post. The, uh, the bots are uh, showing some love. Saving some ammunition. It's nice to have our own military bots. currently being shot at. The other one is trying to maneuver into an effective position, I imagine. It's like tanking, but it's taking all the hits and this one isn't even firing because the friendly's in the way. Well, saves me the trouble. There we go, you finally walk around now. Of course you took all that damage. Well, at least we took down one. I'll help. Enemy down. One more bot, and the scientists can open the security doors. It's a little tiny bot up there in the front. Oh. Scanning area target acquired. Good. You keep acquiring targets. Let's see if I can arc that. Not even a little. Maybe that'll attract their attention. It did. As I said, I'm not very familiar with these 20mm red uh, grenades, so, you know, doing a good job. Doing a good job, and if you get exploded, well, it's not a big deal. It's really not. Taking a lot of fire without really dishing out anything. Hmm. Think it's confused? No, there we go. That's the last of them. Base is no longer under lockdown. Maybe someone in the communications building can put you in touch with Savage. I'm gonna leave you for a bit. Believe it or not, Tom's in California. He sounds like he's in trouble. Gotcha. Ah, shit. Uh oh. There we go. Fixed. And I even saved one of their bots. It's probably heavily damaged, but you know the fact of the matter, right? And I didn't die. That's the most important thing out of everything we've just discussed. Front area is clear now. I think that front area is clear now. You're doing a good job. We'll go ahead and hop over here for a little bit. This is actually the front area we'll be visiting here later. I think there's like a little... Uh, there's a little cube. Data cube over here we can visit. Say hello. Hello? Yeah. For a 
from uh, Captain Chip Moser to Major Derek Walcombe. Saddle up. It's funny, in the army you get shifted around so often you develop attachments, then a place you call, can call home for more than nine months. And I've been at Vandenberg for more than ten years. The family has grown up here, I'm actually sorry to see it go, but you've been a big help to all of us, Derek. And I appreciate your efforts in getting us moved out to Fort Jasper. It'll be good to actually sit down and have a beer with you again in person. I heard yesterday the government has sold off the base to some research consortium. They must have deep pockets they're willing to fix all the structural damage that's cropped up since the big one a few years back. Strange birds, real quiet. Probably ex-military would be my guess. Anyways, I'm sure I'll have some stories for you by the time I make it up there. It should be next week. Get my best to Kim. Chip. So the amount of value that has... Non-existent, but a little interesting piece all the same, I think. <laughs> yes, I'm being silly. As if that's never happened before. Where are you, scientist? You? I need to talk to Gary Savage. How does it look out there? We got those bots brand new from a guy in Hong Kong. But I guess we should have locked down the power grid, huh? I took care of the enemy bots, but there might be a few snipers left. Be careful. We think Dr. Savage and the others are in the control room in the second floor of the command building, but communications are down. The person we sent to find them hasn't reported back. We gave him our key to the control room. I'll check it out if you want. How do I get there? The trap door in the back room goes down to the utility tunnels, which connect to the command building. We had to send someone that way because of the shooting. Maybe he didn't make it through the radiation. I don't know. He had no protection. The only hazard suits are in the command building itself. Dude, you gotta wrap it up, man. That was quite a battle. Yes, it was. You saved our asses. Yes, I did. All you just need is the proper ordinance, man. All you need is the proper ordinance. A little bit of save load doesn't hurt. Got another sawed off. In here, we got a variety of things. Buckshot. Bioelectric cells will definitely be taking those. We don't need any of that ammo. Here's a uh, cool, nifty little ladder that. Excuse me. Take you up here. For a little exploration bonus and some sniper rifle ammo. It's not a bad thing. Pinball machine, of course. A book. Jacob Shadow, Andrew Hammond, Chapter 32. And since I have eight lambs. Better get out of my way, cat. Ain't even fucking around right now. Well, you're still alive. Got some more ammunition. An upgrade canister, which is extremely valuable. And data cube from Thompson Reynolds. Thompson Reynolds, assistant researcher. This will be my latest audio diary entry. MJ-12 nailed us completely by surprise. I don't think there was a lot of love lost there, but no one really expected a direct assault. Hold on. So now I'm down in the tunnels. We've lost touch with Garen. I guess I got elected to find out what was going on while everyone else deals with the attack. Okay, I'm at one of the terminals, powering up. Note to self, login is, let's see. Tunnel 01 and password is Omega-2A. Security grid has been deactivated. I hate these stupid hazmat suits and it's almost impossible to punch a key without hitting six... Uh, I thought I heard something. Just a second. Like, the end. It was a good story, everyone. I like that. I like good stories. So, what do I feel like upgrading now? Uh, I don't know. Probably don't need more than... Yeah. Just that second level of cloak there is to make sure that uh, power drain's reduced a bit. That's pretty steep. And I have my power recirculator to help uh, reduce things quite a bit. The rest of the defense system, I think I upgraded that with my last canister. Just to... Uh, Maybe have some fun with that before it's all said and done with the commandos. Generation's pretty nice too. Ballistic protection would probably be more useful than the aggressive defense system. But we'll keep going with that. I figure that'll be something I show off before it's all said and done. And a shaft. Which takes us to a new area. This will be where I end this video, folks. We'll take care of the rest of this installation in the second video. And perhaps make a bit more progress towards whatever's next. I'll see you all next time.